morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is December the 15th and it's like summer out here. One of our chickens escaped when I opened the door. She had it on her mind. She was like, I'm getting out of here and you're not stopping me. But look, she has black spots. Yeah, and so she's our old girl. Yeah, we have a couple of them. She doesn't lay eggs anymore. Yeah, she doesn't lay eggs anymore. And you can kind of tell that she's old. We have her for her looks. <laughs> we have her for her looks. <laughs> That's like the one thing you're not supposed to say. Whoa, but see how her comb is kind of folded over and it's pale? She's getting old. Don't die. She's <laughs> gonna die one time, one year. Yeah. But she's definitely an old girl. Her feet look really good though. Yeah, you're a really cute girl. And we just keep her for her looks. <laughs> look at her orange eyes. Yeah, she wanted out today though. All right, throw her back in. The rooster is not gonna <laughs> you. Yeah. Just throw it in. Quick, we got a lot to do today. It's December 15th. We have like 10 days till Christmas. Wait, did you see the baby? Here. They see the babies every day. Not today because they've grown like. Again. Yeah, holy moly. Look at my bird rock. Cute. They are so cute. Oh, look how cute she's yeah. Standing. Really, really cute. She has a line of white down her back. Yeah, so she's. Yeah. Where's the other bird rock? Um, he's. It, it's like half bird rock, half not. Yeah. They are growing up before our okay, eyes. Okay, this might be a hen. But, but then it's comb. We're excited to show you what we have going on. We're excited to show you what we have going on in the house too. Good morning, my girl. I have some carrots for you. See if she'll do it again. Give me a kiss. She just gave Sophie a kiss. She, my horse knows how to kiss too. Now she won't. Go kiss Storm if you want broken nose. <laughs> He throws his head up, he's like, no, you don't kiss me. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today. I'm excited to tell you about our, our progression in our breeding of our goats. You guys hear that? It's quiet, oh. It was quiet in the goat barn. Everyone is eating, but I want to tell you guys, our first goat babies are due February the 12th, if she goes 150 days. Sometimes they go a little sooner. And our first mama is this one. She had twins the last time. Look at her belly. I feed them in here now before I clean. I feed them in here because uh, the boys can't have what they have. They have a totally different kind of grain. Get away. Go. And then I have to try and protect and make sure that these ones who are the more least dominant ones, I can make sure that they get all the food that they need. Because with her being pregnant, she definitely needs to be able to have the food she, she needs. Do you need some? Here, here Rosie, look. Here. It's the same food you have. So they're really picky. They don't like the alfalfa cubes, the alfalfa pellets. They just like the grain, the molasses and the grain. So she eats all her grain and leaves the alfalfa pellets. <laughs> I know, it's so stressful. Yeah, eat some pellets. Go share with your mom. Come here, look. Oh. Here, look. This is the mom. This is the other mom, and she is not pregnant yet. She definitely looks like she's pregnant, but she's not pregnant yet unfortunately. Uh, she's in heat now and we're hoping that she does get pregnant and if she does her babies will be born in May. So we have a from February to May we are expecting babies. I actually love that a lot because I read somewhere that so I read that some people stagger their births so that they're not all concentrated in a short period of time. I can see benefits to both. Go ahead, eat up. The craziest thing, these dogs cannot wait to go and see the goats every morning. Like, they could go with Sam and Sophie. They choose to come with me because, ooh, goats are so exciting. But then, <laughs> they're terrified of the goats. The reason that they sometimes get locked in the barn, especially Ruby, is, is because when I leave the barn, they're afraid to come out of the barn because the goats are so excited about going back in the barn, they crowd the doors and then so 
The dogs will not come back out if there are goats near the door. So one of my favorite things ever to do, we're doing it this morning, is to look at used books. I love used books and this store has a lot of used books. Actually, so we were out of this section. This is like the baby section. We gotta go. They also have like, they have, actually this is the education section. This is the music section. That's team. Gabby was supposed to send me a list of all the books that she wants and she didn't do it. Yeah, Gabby loves the books and whenever I can find secondhand books that she loves, I always pick them up. We used to go to that store all the time, but now literally there are only really, really old books. There used to be so many different books in there. A variety. What? Like half the books were missing. Yeah, like it seems like they hardly had any stock in that store. So maybe, maybe the days of buying secondhand books are over because it's so much easier just to go on your app and buy books and read them on your phone. Gabby prefers books, so that's why I try and always look for her, but no luck today. I don't know, is it, is that one of the things that's leaving? Like, is it, I guess as more people buy online books, there are less books in the stores and that makes me so sad. I put out our Christmas tablecloth. Ow! <laughs> Oh, oh she's gone. And to the kitten, it just means a new play toy for her. Peekaboo! <laughs> Sophie just said you can't have anything nice with a kitten. She thinks everything is new. She thinks everything that's new is for her. Molly's in position. We are getting the new coop ready. So what we decided, oh, there's a lot of shavings in here. So what we decided to do, for this set of chickens is use our heat lamp. I know some people are against heat lamps. I mean, it's we've used them before without any problems. Um, and Sam is building me right now as we speak a lid for this, a metal lid. Cause once again, we can't trust anything with the cat here. Yeah, can't trust anything with the cat here. Two gray and two black so far, and they look so tiny compared to the other ones. Oh, stop picking his foot. Look, they're already trying to find food. Did you guys know that when chickens are hatched, I want to see you. they absorb the egg yolk into their belly, and then it feeds them for the next three days, feeds and waters them for the next three days. So you have a good three days that you can leave them in the incubator before you need to start feeding them. So we're gonna go get their food and their water ready. Okay, so here it is. Sam made this for us. He has a lid. We made a metal lid. He attached I mean, it over really, there. Really, we can just cut here and that could be on all the time and just lift this side up. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this is secured, super tight. This is for you, Katie. I know that you're worried about the light bulb falling out, but I check it every single day when we have, when we're using this thing. It also has a little, metal net on it yeah, but it has like a shield thing so yeah it has a little shield it, it's not going anywhere. yeah anyways thank you so much sam we have two more we have two more baby chicks hatching in the incubator right now and then by the end of the week maybe by well by the middle of next week we should have them all hatched i do this thing where everything that has to go upstairs I just throw it on the stairs and then the next time I have to go up, I take all this stuff up with me. I bought a bunch of boxes today to wrap all the rest of my Christmas presents. So I have like, the girls are at the age where they want clothes and stuff. And I don't like to wrap it with the wrapping paper because it will the wrapping paper breaks so easily. So I bought a bunch of boxes to put the clothes in. And just like that, the warm day is disappearing. The wind is picking up. I'm in a sweater. But it's getting really cold again. We live on a hill, on two hills really. And it's like 18,000 hills. I know, but it gets cold. It's it literally gets colder by 3 p.m. Hi, Stormy. I can always tell when the duck and the goose have been by for a swim because everything is always soaking wet. Aww. As soon as Sophie starts talking, Lola starts calling for her. Oh my gosh.
princess. She is so cute. Come on, Rocky, we got treats. Sophie got candy cane. You ready? She might not like it. Oh, you like it? Nope. <laughs> they don't like it. Ow. Try the mama. She likes it. She's pregnant. She'll eat anything. Stop eating my shirt. <laughs> she's a perfect example of what happens when you're. She's a perfect example of what Stop happens when you're pregnant. My shirt. This is my favorite spot to sit. Ellie. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's adorable. Sophie and I like to sit down here and just watch. I love watching the mama laying down and resting in the middle of the day. Ellie. She's a reindeer. She's like, I don't like her. <laughs> None of them like it. <laughs> Bring her over, let me see. Aw, like look at those two at the end. She's kissing her. The other girls are so mean that the little boy and the little girl have to stay over here in their own section. So they lay in the sun and we brought over some hay so that they can at least eat. Don't you know that you're beautiful?